Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Seat Leon 2020 model and I will review it for you. I will show you the interior, exterior and I try to go in many detail as possible. Actually, to be honest, I check out the car before I start recording this video and I have to tell you, it is really impressive. So it is a big competitor for the new Volkswagen Golf 8 and also for the uh, other cars in this class. So uh, stay with me guys until the end and I will give you the price. I will show you all the details, interior, exterior will be a full in deep review. So if you are new here, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. If you want to see the new Golf 8, I have it on my channel. Also, if you are from Switzerland or around here, you can come in Soloturn at Amag um, Soloturn. They have uh, plenty of cars, the newest cars here. Also great price, great service. So let's do it, guys. All right, guys, so let's start with the exterior design of the car and just want to uh, speak a little bit about the lights and also about the rims. And we will start with the lights, guys, and with the design, in my opinion, is the most beautiful car in this class. Look at the lines on the hood. Uh, look at the shapes of the bumper. Um, and also from the side look at the shape of the mirror. It's super super beautiful I love the lines very much around the car uh, You can see from here if you look close up you can see those lines They look so so nice and so modern the shape of the car. It is super beautiful uh, In my opinion, I like very much the car even in the back there You can see the lines the shape. I think sad they do a great job with uh, the design of the car and also if you look closely here in the back beautiful lines beautiful design um, yeah this is my verdict in my opinion the most beautiful car in this class much more beautiful than golf uh, or other cars in this class so anyway going in the back here I like the fact that um, Seat goes with those following LED light and also the car have the latest technology LED light and also for the for the um, uh, for the normal light and also for the blinkers uh, they are LED light and this is a very very uh, good plus for the car in my opinion and they also look very nice if you look closely the shape of the light it is uh, pretty impressive and it look very nice from here you can see the boat lights and if you go closely you can see the tail light the red tail light it's also LED light the reverse light also LED and even the brake lights are in LED here the FR logo on the right side and in the middle we have Leon writing with the Seat logo pretty beautiful also in the back we have six parking sensors this is another plus for the car so I'm quite impressed to see I didn't expect to find six parking sensors in the back 
you can see it there also the reverse camera you see it before and also LED lights on the number plate uh, down there another extra for the car going down we have some plastic here uh, on the bumper then we have those fake exhaust pipes but actually you know me if you look at my videos you know I'm a fan of those uh, fake exhaust pipes and I think they look very 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 nice <laughs> the real one are under the car there I think you can see it already the engine on this car it's 1.5 a TSI so it's kind of the milled hybrid uh, on this car the same engine that you find it also on the Golf I did a test drive with the Golf if you're interested uh, check it out so this is with the back uh, I think the back of the car look pretty pretty impressive and here guys on the roof spoiler we have some glossy plastic we can go on the other side so you can see it better some glossy plastic and uh, here is just the roof that comes down just just in a nice sporty design also we have the radio antenna right there pretty nice and if you look closely from here you can see the beautiful design the car have a great aerodynamic and a great fuel efficiency because of this uh, nice beautiful shape and uh, lines of course guys before here I said that usually uh, the old Leon have a brake light here but this time it doesn't have any um, brake light on the roof on the spoiler it has only on the normal lights so yeah that was my mistake anyway i like very much those lines here the way it comes in the back you can see the line is starting here and it go all the way through to the other side and i think in my opinion it looked very beautiful now the 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 braking light is no more up there on the roof on the spoiler roof the braking light now it's here so you can see right here in the middle it's beginning here and it's end up here so here is the brake light so um, usually the car have the brake light up there but this new Leon it has it here and I think it's a great great new improvement I think they come with something new and that's really good here on the right side we have the tank where you can fuel the tank so just as an information it's not on the left side it's on the right side then let's go to the rims guys the car come with those rims and we have here the Bridgestone tires 18 inch rims and in my opinion they are very beautiful uh, and the design of the rims they are uh, pretty impressive the combination of uh, uh, aluminium with a little bit of black here uh, make the car look pretty impressive um, also going in guys and if you look inside there we have the braking discs and also we have ventilated discs because it has these little holes there uh, between the discs now uh, again on the side if you look closely guys you can see this line that go all the way through um, to the front of the car and it looks also nice make the car much more sexier and nicer and sportier uh, you can see this line there then if we go down guys we just have the normal paint so no plastic and nothing down there but if we look here behind the wheel you can see they add this plastic they add this plastic on the paint and you know why because this plastic will protect your paint in time down here so when the when the wheel through uh, stones this plastic will protect your car here to last longer and i think this is a great great job uh, it is very practical and it's very helpful also you can see in the front the brake discs are a little bit bigger because i don't know if you know but the brake discs in the front they are the most use in a car i think 80 percent of the time the car use the front brakes and not so much the back the reverse brake so that's why the front brake the front discs are very important so one of my favorite thing again about this car not that it's not all the car but look at this those mirrors look at the design of the mirrors they're they're really spectacular in my opinion we have led lights on the 
on the mirror as well and you can see where it starts the line and how, how beautiful is the design and even the, the mirror, the whole design it is really impressive and I think they do a great job and not only that the design is nice but you can see they make a shape like an arrow you see the mirror it's in an arrow shape and that helps a lot the aerodynamic of the car I, I can't believe uh, the designer of this car was so uh, intelligent and and they they kind of beat all the competitors even the premium cars with this idea and this design here you can see the mirror have a nice design pretty beautiful mirrors also and it's very big so you have a great great uh, visibility right there as well nice design in the front beautiful lines as i told you before then going in the front here guys we have again six parking sensors the first one it's here on the bumper then the second one and then we have the third one there and another third three on the other side so it's kind of impressive to find so many um, sensors on the car and this is a great great plus for the car then we have nice design down here we have some uh, kind of gray plastic beautiful design and I think it's very similar this plastic with what we see on the rims so they fit kind of perfectly on the car um, then we have here LED light fog lamps that's a plus I like that and also here we have full LED light the newest technology from Seat if you look closely you can see right now they are open the blinkers we will go on the other side because you can see better um, after all so here it's a little bit more dark so you can see very very good the design from here and when you close the blinkers in the same space right here it will be the daylight the led daylight so that's that's awesome also we have adaptive led lights low beam high beam great technology and i like also those triangles design here uh, around the light so the light it's impressive let's go inside to close up the light because i want to spare some battery pretty cool and let me go outside and continuing with showing you the uh, the bumper so the grill is very similar with what we see before uh, but I think it's very nice. I like the grill. I like the design. Here we have the Seat logo. Then we have the, the grill here in, in black. And the air intakes that go to radiator to cool down the engine. Then the air can go also here, down here to cool down the engine. Then we have some nice design down on the bumper. It's very sporty design. I like very much the way they design the the bumper here in the middle guys right here in this square we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety settings that come with the car another cool feature look at the car from the front look how aggressive it is look how nice the lines on the hood they are i love those lines it look like a like a very racy sporty aggressive car and i like also these holes the way they design this part right here i like it very much you can see this line the way it comes here and yeah it's just it's just one of my favorite design car in this class also up here on the windscreen we have the camera and also the raining sensors the camera that can read um, the traffic speed limit and also that camera it's helpful for uh, lane assist and all that um, great technology that come safety technology that come with the car what can i say guys beautiful design this is the exterior um, big windows also around the windows i want to show you something again let me go to the windows on this side because we have more sun you can see better around the windows we have this rubber so all over the windows here it's just rubber up and down but the car have a big windows in the back big window in the front so it should be a great visibility we will go inside and i will show you also uh, how is the visibility inside the car now let's go let's go and let me show you guys the the engine bay i think 
most of you want to see how the engine look like so we open up from there here we have the key as well i will show you also uh, the key a little bit later but first time let me show you the engine so going here pretty simple to open it up you can you can do that with only one hand this is manually so it's not automatic you, you can you have to put it manually here is the engine if you're curious the battery the fuse box in the right side here's the filter air filter and yeah the coolant it's in the rail in the left side and here is the engine one 1.5 liter a tsi engine this is connected to a hybrid battery so that was the engine in case you're curious now look at the key guys i have the key right here it's very similar with what uh, volkswagen have and i think it's really really beautiful um, to be honest it's in this glossy black plastic so it's, it's pretty spectacular uh, by the way when you lock the car guys you can see the car come with uh, the mirrors it has it has this um, electric mirrors also they folding then we have keyless entrance in the car here you can lock the car and here you can open up the car and you can unlock the car you can see the mirrors are coming in normal position in driving position if i can say like that and also i'm really curious if you if you can open the trunk yeah you can unlock the trunk if you hold the trunk button you can unlock the trunk while the car it's locked so uh, it's pretty pretty cool here you can see the LED light I think you see it before it has very very nice design now we will go inside and I want to show you the uh, trunk of the car uh, as you know here is the same system as on the Volkswagen manually lift gate the quality is very good and I like the fact that this door it's really really light it feels very light and very good quality here is the trunk guys pretty big uh, trunk so we have some plastic at the entrance right here and then we have a very very um, deep space right here i think it's 40 centimeter deepness you can see like that around 40 centimeter plenty of space in the left side we have hooks here uh, on the left side hooks on the right side we have an led light that's another cool stuff and i'm not sure if inside the car it is a 12 volt port maybe here no it doesn't have a 12 volt port uh, i wish they have here but it doesn't have let's see what it's under the floor whoa under the floor we have another spare tire with triangle uh, and all that kit super awesome I like that so it's so much space inside the trunk guys uh, usually it's missing a piece here it should have this protection here I think that can stay up so like that but I'm not sure about that anyway it's such a big trunk really big trunk it's very deep really really deep and big I like that you can also take out this protection from here I will do that for you and then I will show you how it looks without it so this is a trunk guys without the protection right here it's a pretty big trunk I think you can stick plenty of stuff there it's really really deep so um, I like the trunk it's super super big now I will fold down the seats for you let's fold down the seats and let's see how the car looks like it's very simple to fold it down you just pull it from here and then this is kind of the position let me go on the other side here so let's fold it down just like that so you have almost a flat floor here i mean they they go almost flat the seats now the question is if you put the headrest a little bit in the front they are flat down so you can see it's just straight the only question i have is this car have another floor right here that stop there you can see it also have this position and then if it has another uh, another um, floor right here then it, it you will have a straight straight floor i'm not sure about that i don't think it has but even so 
with this bump here you still have plenty of space inside here so you can carry many things uh, guys you have to take into consideration that the design of the car the shape of the car the aerodynamic of the car is much better than in other cars so sometimes you can't have all so uh, you just have to think about that plenty of space on the legs room here it's huge space guys just look at the space and even there look at the space huge space there where you can put your stuff and you can see that the driving seats are in my position of driving here and you still have huge huge space on the legs that's really really impressive now you can see from behind from here the space inside the trunk so you can see how big it is and how deep it is you can see i have almost half of my hand inside here like 40 45 centimeter really really deep uh, and really big and even the entrance in the car it is impressive it's, it's quite big so um, they did a great great job with the trunk now we will go inside and let's fold down the seats guys it's pretty simple to fold it down you just have to pull it up just like that in one second they are up another cool feature is that here in the middle you have two cup holders and then you can also open it up the middle part and then you can carry long items without any problem that's another plus that the car come with and i like it very much um, yeah for that it's it's great so let me close the trunk guys and then uh, let me go inside to show you the rest of the um, uh, the car Great guys, so now let's go inside and let's talk a little bit about the doors first time. I like very much the door that here on the door you have one piece glass window and you have a great visibility. Now going here we have plastic material on the upper side, you can see the trim closely. Over here we have plastic, then we have a speaker here, very nice speaker, I like those triangles there. Then we have a handle in chrome, then here we have leather and great quality, soft material. So here, all over here, uh, we have soft material, leather, here also soft material, leather and great quality. Where your arm are resting, this is the perfect place, the way they do, it's, it's just perfect. Here we have electric uh button for the windows also a handle we have a storage space here pretty big the speaker that goes all the way through here in the back very nice design very nice lines so you can see the triangles there um in in my impression in my opinion it is very nice also going inside we have a big entrance that's something that really impressed me with this design uh, you have a big entrance in the car behind the, the front seats we have leather all over no plastic just a storage space here I, I see in 2020 all the cars company they don't install anymore that plastic behind the seats and they go with the soft material and leather this is the new uh new era i think new trend on the cars but i like that i like much more when it's no plastic here behind now going in the middle guys here we have two vans they feel nice the quality is pretty good they look nice as well then you have the controllers for the climatic system you can adjust it from there then we have two usb-c ports right here down very useful these days uh, i like that the way they do it also a big bump in the middle kind of big there but here on the floor you have plenty plenty of space now also you have a hook here where you can put your stuff pretty nice and then going inside we have some plastic on the side right here some kind of hooks here but here we have some plastic and then we have the isofix for the kids right here so you can install those chairs for kids and look at those seats guys another cool stuff that i like about the car is those um, great great quality seats we have leather with red stitches here on the side you can see it also here and then in the middle we have fabric material very nice design they are very very uh, comfortable to be honest i sit on them and i have to tell you I love the way it feels sitting on those seats. You already see that you have a center armrest and um, to be honest, the design of the seats and the comfort, it is very good. So uh, I tell you from my experience because I sit 
uh, on those seats and then let me go inside again and guys look at this this is in my driving position and I will show you when I go in the front and also this is a little bit in the back yeah but you still have plenty of space on the legs there then let me close the door right now again another cool stuff you can hear the doors just just hear the doors you can hear that wait it's like an Audi the quality it's it's very good on the doors that's why I tell you the trunk have a great quality as well and I'm really impressed that these days uh, Seat and Volkswagen and all and Skoda as well they, they improve so much the quality and uh, the design of this I think the designer from Seat it is it's 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 a a genius I love the design and even in the interior the design and the comfort it's awesome look at look at my space here yeah look how much space I have on my head in the car that have an amazing amazing aerodynamic and amazing design also I have a handle I have a hook right here great quality on the roof soft material on the roof also those are super fancy you just have to put your finger here and then the lights up but first time guys i just have to put the contact in order to show you that and now i think they have to work you can see it's like a touch screen how 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 cool is that you know it's not a button it's just a touch screen and they light up so slow and nice and super fancy also you have this in the front as well i think you can see it how fancy is that? Let me close the engine, right? Ah, we will go also in the front and I will show you the dashboard and all that design. But first time, let me finish up here. So I like again, these small windows make more light come inside and the visibility on the windows, it's very good. The comfort here, it's very good. I have plenty of space to sit on the seat. And look at that, look at this look how much space i have on my knees it's incredible the same as in the trunk almost half of my hand is here oh my god and then i can stretch my legs under the floor under the front seat it's the same as in a suv you have the same space as inside an suv i don't know how they do how they manage to do that but it's really impressive let me go in the middle right now let's see in the middle you have smaller space here but still four fingers left side yeah kind of tight right side kind of tight so here in the back two person will stay like in an suv three person so so because of the design of the car um, and all that great aerodynamic three people for long trips will be not so fun but two people is perfect look at the space on my knees even on this seat that is way way in the back you still have huge space on the knees and yeah what can i say i love the space in the back now we will go in the front guys and i just want to show you uh the front will also blow your mind uh i will show you the multimedia system all that uh information there in the front about the dashboard and I will show you also the price so let's go in the front and let's see um, the other info guys so now we go in the front the handle you already see it the keyless you can see the way it open up and also you hear before the doors that they have a great great quality now guys look at this window how big it is you have a big windows from one pieces this is awesome you have a great visibility I like that also the mirror you can see how big it is and yeah i will show you later as well here this time is not like in the back here we have soft material all over here so this one right here it's soft material all over until here we have soft and nice material we have ambient led light inside here i don't know if you can see it until here you have just ambient light you can see right now and also guys something pretty awesome is that here you have the blind spot technology you see before the yellow light yes and this yellow light is the blind spot technology it's appear in this area right here so it's it's kind of cool and when it's not open the yellow one here you have a red or you can change the ambient light i will show you later then we have some um, 
plastic in gray here that look very nice and very cool design the handle it feel nice it feel good quality and then here of course leather great great soft material even here again soft material leather we have the buttons for the electric windows and adjustable mirrors right here pretty awesome then the handle plenty of storage space in the door bands and then we have the speaker pretty awesome with the same design as in the back really big so you have also a great great sound inside the car so now that we see uh, the door we will go inside and you will see right here the fr uh, fr uh, logo with some chrome aluminum design right here because it's kind of an aluminum then inside some plastic and the pedals are normal no aluminum pedals you can install it if you want to we have manual adjustable seats right here so i think you already know how it's working so it's full manually and also we have this stick here that you can go in the back in the front the way you want to uh, adjust it so pretty awesome now look at those seats guys look at the design of the seats they look super super impressive um, they are kind of combination between sporty and comfortable seats and before I show you the seats let me give you some information about the car I know most of you wait for those information from the beginning of the video so we have the new Seat Leon FR right here and then we have the uh, Desire Red if you are interested how is the color name of the car then we have 1.5 liter 150 horsepower four cylinder ETSI petrol uh, so we have that hybrid version seven speed gear uh, and then we have DSG just as an information let's go a little bit forward the price of the car it's 38,000 francs actually uh, around 39,000 francs and around the same in dollars a little bit less in euro around i think 36000 euro around there then you have also if i'm not wrong here are all the all the options that are on the car and also the price you can check it out uh, if you're interested in that so anyway now that we are finished with this information let me put it down there so i can show you better the seats guys so you can see right now the seats uh, they have a great great nice design and they are also very good quality here in the in the middle part we have this fabric material but i have to tell you this fabric material is not like in other cars they feel like it's much more quality you know and here it's much more softer and uh, you don't have a back pain you know even here it's softer and nice and good design and also you have side supports you have leather here on the side with red stitches you can see right here the red stitches so uh, they look really nice and also the headresting it's in the uh, leather so pretty awesome seats also very comfortable i drive the car and they feel awesome you can adjust uh, this armrest right here leather as well great quality let me put it up and show you there we have a 12 volt port and plenty of space uh, very useful this space here where you can put your stuff then we have kind of two cup holders right there pretty good space and then around the center console here guys we have just uh, plastic if you're curious but this plastic it has a nice trim design so you can see it from this position very nice trim I like it very much then again we have here those nice uh, lights this is the new technology the car and also the Volkswagen I think let me go inside they come with this new technology so you, it's kind of a press of a button you can light up um, the car and you can change different modes auto or light on and you can see also on the new screen right there so let me close the door and then let me show you the rest of the car here on the on the dashboard you have this nice design in gray i like it very much the way they design it and then here uh, by the way here it's also the the fog lamps and also the um uh the fog lamps in the front and in the back you can open it up uh, from there so anyway 
the design of the dashboard it is really impressive in my opinion it looks very nice i like the way they design the vents here and they feel really good quality you can see you cannot hear nothing because it's very smooth and good quality soft material even here on the dashboard guys here is soft material very nice quality vents again you can see the blind spot technology right there pretty awesome here we have a speaker on the b pillar on the a pillar sorry and then uh, up here we have a handle you have the mirror pretty nice led light on the mirror up here good quality very good quality sos button up here the lights you already see it before those led lights and then information and the service help you have it right there also the microphone and all that stuff are here the mirror it's also very nice and fancy and also you have a good visibility in the back in the mirror just like that now let me show you the visibility guys on the windows you have a great great visibility on the windows um, something that i also tell you before great visibility and also in the back there may be a little bit of blind spot you can see there in the corners but you have a reverse camera so you don't have to worry about that um, blind spot so the position of driving it's really awesome you have a great position on those seats you have side support so the the position right here it's perfect i mean i love the position i love those seats they are they're just perfect for me and i have plenty of space here like in a big uh, suv car so i like that also on the head i don't want to say about that but it's it's plenty of space now the steering wheel you can you can adjust it manually from down there up down front back the way you want it so this is this is really really awesome you can see you can choose your position the way you want it and then you just pull it like that and it's finished now uh, soft material everywhere on the dash as i told you up there you have an ambient light guys all over there the dash you have an ambient light it look beautiful in the night it's it's so fancy then up there you have another vents that go directly to the windscreen so uh, and then again we have here a speaker so you can see better so here soft material everywhere nice trim design i think you can see it on the camera as well then again the vents there beautiful design also here i like very much this plastic the way they design it i don't know if you can see it closely but it looks very nice very fancy two vents in the middle right here the great quality also they feel good they feel very soft and nice we have the blinkers button right here in the middle perfect position it uh it looks nice and this center center armrest looks uh, center console look very nice very nice very premium like expensive cars we have uh electronic handbrake auto hold lock and unlock the car some space for your keys right here or here for your stuff like for example like your phone some chrome design around there and then we have the new um wireless shifter that you find it also on the skoda for example if you see my skoda octavia review or you find it on the uh, new volkswagen golf 8 and you find it on this uh, Seat Leon FR or Se new Seat Leon 2020 model the new one will come with this DSG um, 8 uh, speed gearbox but you can get also this car in manual uh, with manual gearbox but this is another story for another time here is the button for the parking brake and also the start engine button right here in the middle so pretty awesome we have a big space right here guys really huge space for your phone and also you can charge your phone wireless down there you have again two USB-C ports so that's that's really awesome uh, to be honest and it's a big space there I like that very practical going forward to the steering wheel great quality on the steering wheel you can see these little holes and uh, we have red stitches inside very good quality it looks nice fr logo right here on the steering wheel it looks super super nice and super fancy to be honest uh, it is a very very beautiful 
uh, steering wheel. Good, good. And also it look nice and it feel nice. And it was it's really soft to drive. We have the, the pedals to change the gear manually if you want to change the gear manually. Then we have the controllers buttons here. You can control uh, the cruise control. Uh, here you have the adaptive cruise control button and then you can change different settings there on the cruise control and here on the right side you can change the multimedia system and all the information on the multimedia system I will show you in the moment we will go there too and then the phone you have here the music and the speaker so pretty awesome now that I show you that guys let me show you the other stuff press the button here and then when you press put the contact right now the contact is on you can see we have here the 10 inch display the new uh the new multimedia screen uh the visibility from the driver point of view it is impressive guys so you can see it is a great great visibility you have the screen directly through your driver so it's perfect like that and also here you have a great great visibility in this new digital cockpit this is one of the best on the market so uh, Volkswagen Skoda and Seat did a great job with this multimedia system they are awesome guys awesome beautiful nice colors big screen great visibility on the cockpit and it's also super beautiful guys to be honest um, with what we start we start with the cockpit okay let me start with the cockpit and first time i want to tell you from here you can control all the uh, things on the cockpit so uh, i just uh, i will just film the cockpit and then you get the idea so let me let me let me show you first time you can change different settings right there on the screen for example right now um, you are in this mode and then you can see you can change the lane assist the adaptive cruise control you can activate and deactivate from here you have all that blind spot technology right here side you can see the blind spot technology then you have the um, the parking sensors when you go out you can see that kind of a blind spot as well and here you have the front assist and then uh, up here you have the lane assist so anyway going back uh, to the other menu so if you press like that you can choose to have the navigation in the middle and also the consumption in the left in the right also you can see in the left in the right up corner 60 kilometer is the the speed the car can read the traffic speed limit so this is another cool stuff you can see the temperature the information about the gas and all that stuff also uh, you can choose and you can play with your navigation you can make it closer or depend how you want it so this is another cool feature then let me close the screen going on this screen you can also see the, the consumption and all that information uh, about the car right here and then you can choose another screen just like that where you can see the speedometer in the right um, and also the turometer and then the navigation right there in the middle if i'm not wrong you can choose to see the navigation all over the screen but i'm not sure if you can do that i didn't try it before let me try it now maybe you can do that i'm not sure I don't think so yeah anyway okay anyway now let me show you that you can change also the things that are right there in the middle you can see you can choose what you like to see there and also on the other side just like that you can see you can choose to see whatever things you like uh, in the middle of the turometer so pretty awesome let me go forward let me go in the middle right now i think i'm in the middle yes in the middle you can change of course uh what you like to see the consumption on the last 108 kilometer was 7.7 7. um also you can see information about the car and the navigation in the middle right there so it's pretty awesome to be able to customize all those things and even here you can customize and choose what you like to see on the right side what you like to see in the middle for example right here and what you like to see on the 
left side so you have to go out from here and then on the left side you can chase you can choose what you would like to see so um, yeah you can see right now the navigation it's all over the screen kind of all over the screen if you choose to close that I'm not sure how to do that I think yes just like that and now you have the navigation all over the screen you have to play a little bit with this multimedia system but look how fancy it look like I like it very much I like the way it looks it looks so fancy and so new and um, yeah it's one of the best you can see for the driver point of view how nice the screen it is so it's it's kind of impressive now let me go here in the screen it's very similar with what you will find on the Volkswagen Golf this new multimedia system also here you have the AC and let me um, show you here you can control the the climatic system also you can close it up from here now it's off but you can turn it on and you can see from all the position where the air is coming you can change the nivel how stark you want it you can put the AC on AC off back uh, window front windows you can change from here the temperature the way you want it uh, just like that or if you understand what I mean it's super simple and also for the passengers you can synchronize the both of them you can go back in the same uh, screen and yeah it's pretty simple I think you get the idea you can go to auto also you can you can close the auto you can close the climatic system just like that so now it is closed so now that I show you the climatic system also you can control it from here when it's on you can see from here you can control the the temperature and also from here for the passengers and here is the music plus and minus but I have to tell you guys the music it's super awesome inside the car you have a great great sound inside the car uh, they did a great job with that and that's another plus now uh, now that we are finished with that guys up here if you go up here you have all the information about the car the service the internet and they give you all that kind of wait a second i push the button by mistake all that information about the errors in car now guys here behind you can also in the climatic system you can choose behind what kind of temperature uh, you want to have in the back of the car so this is also awesome then you have the climatic system here you can choose different uh, settings air care clima then you can also activate this this is really awesome that it has this technology and then we have all the settings about the climatic system so all those settings are just about the climatic system guys just to keep in mind that now let me go to the main screen so here it's kind of the main screen you have the radio in the middle you can change it here you have the mobile phone you can connect your mobile phone and here you have the navigation we will start with the navigation and then if you go to the navigation guys here for example you can choose a destination so let me choose this destination and let me show you how fast it's loading so it's almost instantaneous the way it's loading and the map it's awesome you can see it doesn't have any lag at all so it's just pretty smooth maybe a little bit but still the colors and the screen it's perfect and it's also loading very fast so um, it's very clear and simple things here what you like to see and yeah anyway uh, i like very much the resolution of the screen it's, it's quite impressive so anyway now this is the map it's pretty big also you have a great visibility from here you can have it on the screen there or you can have it here on the multimedia system uh, is the same thing then going down here to the home screen this is the home button now you're in home button but if you press this button right here yeah again i how i do that let me go to the ac and let me close it up i push it by mistake down there so 
sorry about that if you press this button it gets you to the menu so here in the menu you have navigation you have radio and media so you can change different settings you can go to media and you have all the music on the bluetooth or the on the media system you can put it to the favorite you have also the settings i don't want to go too much in the in the information because i will make a full review with the multimedia system so check out on my channel the full review you have radio you have telephone you have full links you can connect your your telephone apple carplay uh, android auto and all that stuff also you have here the information but um, we will talk later about that in other video uh, the, the car information here you have all that information lane assist all that safety settings you can you can also um choice from here how you want to your car to react in different situation also park assist and all that stuff you have it right uh right here also the information the driving profile you can drive in in echo you can change the driving mode echo comfort normal sport or individual you can change different driving modes from here guys also the ambient light, something that I, I would, we will talk, this is something awesome and I love this ambient light inside the car. I really, really love it. Let me see if I can, it's, it's kind of day, too much day today, um, but let me show you off and on. Right now it's on. I don't know how to make it work. Uh, maybe I have to open up the light and then it will work. I'm not sure about that but uh, as I show you before here on the doors also on the on the dashboard up there and even there on the door I think you can see it now if you look closely it's a blue it's kind of a bluish color calm let me go to the red right now yes I think you can see it right now it's kind of a red so you can see it there the red color I don't know sure but it's anyway i will show you maybe in the night in the night time i will make another review so here's the ambient light then you have the information about the infotainment system uh, the mirrors as well you can choose the way you want to react and also infotainment system all that information about him then you go down here you have all the information about the car the the, um, the windows the, the the tires the light and the center locking so you have all here all kind of information about the car so going back to the menu you have the data about the consumption of the car the service information as well here you have the consumption in the last one kilometer uh, you can still drive with the car 300 kilometer long time you can see in the last 108 kilometer 7.7 .7 consumption and also here 7.6 so anyway here is the status of the car service and all that information when you have to make the service you have to make it at uh, 30,000 kilometers so pretty awesome uh, this is with the new cars then let me go again in the menu here you have the data climatic system you already see it the sound in the sound system also you can adjust different focus balance and stuff like that it's pretty awesome as well don't want to go in details then we have the help impression store uh, username and then you have the settings of the car here you can change this the language guys for example if you go here you can choose to have another language for example we have a lot of languages here i think all the europe languages not only i'm not sure you can see even romanian turkey Ukrainian and well Slovakia Portugal plenty of language that you can choose you can put it in here you can change also in the settings the screen the language the keypad the time and date units you can put the car in miles or kilometer or temperature or <laughs> the way you want to see it it's it's they have so many uh, options and units here to change for from so now Wi-Fi as well, copyright, system info and data and stuff like that. So anyway, this is the menu, kind of this is the menu guys, the way it looks. Also, I will make another review, full review with the multimedia system. Check it out on my channel soon. Here you have 
the navigation system you have kind of a shortcuts button directly on the screen you push it and then you have the shortcut button and you have the night view of the navigation right now then you have the media you go directly to the media you have the phone go directly to the phone the most important the apple carplay here and then you have the um, the tank and information about the car as you see before and then you have another another uh, sound there if you go right like that you have the sound here as you see before and then you have the username and then all that information about the car here on this information you can see how the car work and how you can use this multimedia signal also you can customize you can press on this plus and you can customize the way you want the screen and you can add for example the settings right here and you have the settings down there so all you have to do is press exit and then it will stay there you can move this around the way you want it you can go also uh, in the menu from here so it's pretty simple to use and you learn it in one day you don't need too much time to learn it yeah what can i say guys um let me close up the lights put it on let me close the ignition and yeah you can see a goodbye there and you can see also the information about the driving and how much you drive in the last uh, time the time date and look how nice it's looking that p down there and that it's showing what gear you are. So guys, I just want to show you a little bit of driving. So now the wireless shifter, what you have to do to go in reverse, to just press it up a little bit and then you will see the reverse camera right there pretty great uh, quality and resolution you can see also the sensors or you can close the sensors and you can see only the camera in the reverse for example let me show you just like that so you can choose the way you want to see it also you have the settings here to see the blind spot or the way you want to see it anyway let's go reverse and I want to show you how easy it is to drive this car guys also the car have this um, auto hold so it's it's super super easy uh, to drive it and uh, to park it so you can see here the lines are perfectly right there aligned so you can see how easy it is to drive and to park the car and also it has a great great visibility from the driver point of view it's really awesome then going in the drive you just have to do it like that right now we are in drive you can see also there on the screen and then in the drive you can also drive forward uh, with the camera on but not for a long time just for a short time and first impression guys I have some bumps here the suspension are really good uh, the acceleration it's awesome it works perfectly also the steering wheel it's so so easy to use it's so easy to drive the steering wheel it's really really awesome to be honest um, you can see the bumps here it feels so premium the suspension are super good They feel it really nice, really smooth and really simple to drive. Also, it's the engine, it's very smooth. The pedals, the same as on the Golf 8 and the Skoda, the pedals are improved right now and you have some uh, improvement on the pedals, guys. So they are really, really good. Uh, when you press the acceleration or the brake, they working just, just, just perfect. You can see even the brakes are, are really impressive. So now I will have to, to park the car, going in reverse and just go with the car. Um, I like the mirrors. You have a great visibility also in the mirrors. And also uh, the mirrors in combination with the reverse camera. Um, you have a great, great visibility. It's so easy to drive also in reverse and I like the pedals Volkswagen 
and Seat really improve those uh, quality. The quality on the pedals are just phenomenal. I just love the pedals. They they are just fantastic. Anyway, we have to park the car right here. We have to park the car right here. It's just simple as that. So then put it in the parking, press the button, the parking, and how the car start stop engine it's on. So right now the car uh, it's in rest and then you have to press the button and the engine it's stop. Um, it's very hot today. It's a hot day and also this new Seat Leon. It's a hot car and I like it very much. I hope you enjoyed the review guys. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, I hope you get you some idea about the car. I love those seats. They are so awesome. Really awesome. Um, yeah, what can I say? A few words about the car. I like the price very much. It has a great price uh, for what it offers. A lot of great quality, even those seats, they are so comfortable. Uh, the dashboard and all that soft material, the ambient light, the new cockpit and the multimedia system, the big 10 inch screen display, the wireless gear shifter and start stop button, six parking sensors, reverse camera, adaptive cruise control uh, and all that stuff. They are awesome. Also the new engine 1.5 A TSI. It is fantastic and I totally recommend you to buy this car if you want to buy if you want a car in this um, in this class I have to say the new Seat Leon it's one of the best to buy so guys I hope you enjoy it please subscribe to my channel check out my other videos if you didn't do it yet and thank you very much for watching I guess I see you soon in the next one by the way if you want to see the multimedia system review check out on my channel with the new Leon and uh, yeah I will come also with a test drive soon, so um, stay safe and see you soon. Bye, guys.